Yo, what up, Tom? Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, of course. How's it going? <clears throat> Back with another list video. This time, uh, some of the best performance basketball shoes for people with that Barney Rubble foot. Wide foot. If you got wide foot syndrome, we're about to help you out. That sucks. I mean, there's not a lot of shoes that are wide. Yeah. I mean, we tried looking and we looked at all the shoes and stuff like that. A lot of them fit pretty narrow and very tight. So, um, but we found a few and they're pretty good performers. So, um, I mean like, like let's, let's name a few. Like the PG ones, narrow. Narrow. Uh, the Jordan 32, pretty damn narrow. The KD 10, pretty damn narrow. <clears throat> the Explosive narrow. K Kyrie 4. Kyrie 4. Co uh, let's see. Dame 4. Dame 4. LeBron 15 even is pretty damn narrow this year. Yeah. LeBron 15 and the Soldier yeah, 11. Yeah, it is. You those know? usually have been usually, a yeah. wide foot uh, go to for usually. Exactly. Uh, um, but, you know, uh, the Curry 4, did you already see that? Curry 4. D Rose 8 is narrow. D Rose 8 is narrow, you know? So, um, anyways, so here's a few that you can get. Um, and we're, so we'll start off with the Wild 6. Mm. So the Wild 6. Well, isn't crazy wide, but I did feel like it wasn't super tight, and it, it is pretty roomy in the toe area for me, and I had to add an insole. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like for wide footers, it should be good. The cushion is amazing, traction is really good, and materials are super nice. So while wow, six, you should be good with that shoe. Yeah, the Hyper Dunk uh, 2017 Flyknit is okay for for wide footers. Not the best on this list. But uh, you could get away with it for sure. Yes. Um, it's a little bit wider than the low. Don't get the low if you're a wide footer. Yeah, low is pretty damn narrow. Low, yeah. low and the high with the textile or whatever upper, mm -hmm. those are pretty tight. But then the fly knit for us was, wasn't was as tight. Yeah. So I feel like wide footers should be okay. You know? Yep. Uh, maybe still go up half a size maybe. If mm -hmm. you have a super duper wide foot. Um, but you know, it still fits a little wide. So yeah. there's that. The next one is the James Harden Volume 1. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why, but for, for me, it, it, it just doesn't feel super wide as in like, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, no, me neither. You know, but it does still fit a little wide. Maybe it's because there's like so much material on top of your toe and it's a pretty, there's no like dead space on top of your toe either. Right. Um, so maybe that's why it doesn't feel as bad, but um, you know, it's still, it still fits a little wide in the forefoot area. And if you have a wide foot, those should be good. Yeah. All right, next is the Dominate. Yeah, uh, the Air Max Dominate. You know, of course, Anthony Davis rocks that. Boogie Cousins rocks that. Uh, it's a big man shoe. Big man usually got some big old feet. And uh, it's not stupid wide. Um, uh, it's not the widest one on this list for sure, but it's uh, it's good for a wide footer. You know, it's pretty wide. And if I say the word wide one more time, uh, the computer's gonna self-destruct. Yes. Um, but no, it, it's a good performer as well. Super cheap um, and uh, also pretty minimal feeling. Um, you know, a lot of these wide footer shoes can feel a little bit bulky. So there's that. Yes. And then last but not least is the Kobe AD Mid. I don't know why they changed up the fit this year or last year or whatever because usually Kobe's are pretty damn narrow yeah. and fit super nice for us. But these but, were like real wide. Yeah, we're real wide and a lot of toe room. So I, th I, so I would think this is maybe the best option for yes, a wide footer. Yes. Um, very good shoe also. Yeah. Try to stay away from the semi-translucent outsoles. Um, they have a ton of colors out now. And it's very supportive also. It's a very good shoe. Very good cushion. Full length lunar lawn. A little bit of zoom. Good bounce. Um, solid shoe for wide footers. If I rock this shoe, I need to put an insole in to bring me up. Yes. Me you too. won't need to do that. Yes. So... There's that. Yeah, so that's the list of the best wide footers. We could really couldn't think of anything else. I mean... That know, we're worth talking about. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? There's there's other wide shoes, but they're not great. Yes. Uh, we want it to also be a good shoe, not just be wide. So Exactly. Because uh, if you just need a wide, you can go with the Air Monarchs, <laughs> which are one of the goats. But And they also know, have a wide version of the shoe. They do have a wide version. So, you know. know. Anyways. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Soul Brothers, we'll catch you in the next one. Later. Peace.